Welcome back to Parapod. Uh, today, I'd like to quickly present the um, uh, the layout, uh, the ground work. Um, you know, for any building, the ground work is critical because once you you know prepare the ground, once you start to uh, you know uh, do things uh, above the foundation, then uh, most likely uh, not much you can do to the foundation, right? So for that reason, we are very careful in uh, planning for this uh, parapod building. And, uh, and now what you see is what we have, uh, we have come up, uh, you know, so far. Uh, the, there's several issues here. One is the mice invasion, right? In the, when the winter comes, you know, the mice sense it, uh, you know, the cold weather is coming. So they will search for uh, uh, sh any shelter, you know, any shelter that, that could be warm, could help them to get by, you know, so they are just like us, right? You cannot simply live outside in winter, you know, you'll be frozen to death. So for that reason, we need to prevent the field mouth uh, from getting in. Uh, for field mouse mice uh, to get from getting in, right? So um, yeah, so for that reason, we come up with this uh, design. Uh, we simply use um, you know stainless steel uh, mesh uh, uh, to form a cage, you know, form a boundary, you know, around the perimeter uh, of this uh, building of this power part. So this way, um, and uh, we make it, uh, you know, roughly, um, you know, could be uh, one feet or two feet, right? Uh, and, and depending on the material we can get, yeah. And so anyway, it should be less than half meter. So uh, basically, we, t we plan to dig um, half meter down. But for the perimeter, we can be, you know, shallower, right? Um, and then uh, we lay, uh, so for this reason, we need to dig straight down, you know? And then we lay the wire mesh, you know, close netted uh, wire mesh so that the, uh, when the mice, you know, get close to it, then they see there's no way they can squeeze through the little holes, right? So, um, yeah, that's what we plan to do. Dig deep um, for maybe 40 uh, centimeters, and then we uh, simply uh, lay the, uh, place the net vertically against the wall, against the, you know, the wall of the soil. And then we backfill with gravel, uh, you know, to hold it there. And at the same time, we could uh, consider burying, uh, you know, bury the, uh, the, um, these uh, uh, posts, you know, the short posts, right? This actually anchors, right? So we can, you know, while we, uh, you know, backfill with gravel, then we, uh, you know, we, we line the, uh, uh, these anchors properly and then bury them, yeah. So as you can see, um, you know, uh, we have uh, at least two layers, including the, the pound liner that could be uh, another layer of uh, defense, right? Uh, so the, 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 the mouse has to go through the net, which is impossible, right? Uh, unless they go deep, right? Really deep. I don't think most mice uh, uh, are not, are not that smart to go even deeper and then go around. So that's why we you know, we need to decide, you know, how hide uh, this uh, protection, right? Um, and, and then even the, there's a, you know, even though there's a, you know, there's a hole, suppose there's a hole, right, in the net, and then they can get through the hole, but then what they see next is gravel, right? The, the cross stones, right? And that's really hard, you know, deeper uh, you, uh, they get, uh, it's, it's harder to get through this thick, you know, wall of rocks, right? And uh, m maybe a, a, a weaker point is uh, uh, close to the top, but most likely they, they won't do that, you know, at, uh, at the top because 
they would do things right secretly right so um, anyway so um, this way uh, even above here we have you know uh, three three layer from you know pre prevention right so the net and then go through the rocks you know rock wall here and then the the, the pound liner yeah uh, if they enter from here it's not a big deal right because then you won't lose the the water right um, yeah but because normally the p water in the pond is above here you know won't be totally filled right because that if that happened you can you you end up having flooding right so um uh, so for that reason uh you know mostly uh, the water will be here so if a mice is smart enough to go around this i don't think they are they, they can um uh, but if they do get around here and then go through the dirt and then dig hole and then come here and then uh, bite uh, a hole there and then the, the, the water will be gushing out right and then we're going to lose uh, most of the water and um, yeah so we are going to have a tank inside we're going to have drill holes at, at the bottom and we're going to bury this uh, barrel and that will be that will indicate how deep our water is right if we, we have a very low water that means yes there might be a chance that a mice uh, you know has come uh, uh, come to the come inside right so by by look observing the level of that uh, you know the the water level in the the, the barrel we can know right how high is the water for this uh, big pond? So uh, that's something also we need to add to the drawing. Actually, I forgot. Yeah, but uh, I have it in my backyard. So basically, this is very similar to what I have in my backyard. The only difference is I don't have the net. I don't have the metal mesh. Okay, I'm using actually the uh, uh, concrete blocks yeah I'm using concrete blocks so that's why I didn't use it anyway so that's something uh, yeah we need to do for this project uh, in order to prevent mice from from you know uh, invading um, and uh, yeah as you can see everything the pond line is sloped so we're going to use the gravel or uh, you know most uh, preferably uh, the the river stones right river stone you know with smooth surface rounded at no rounded edge no sharp edges and then we form that, that this slope and then we lay the pond liner right pond liner uh, after the pond liner we are gonna uh, backfill with small gravel so there will be uh, uh, you know river stones inside and river stone outside right so this way um, we use the river stone the gravel to support the surface but at the same time we can add water you know uh, to this yeah to this so um, uh, so that the pond the big pond actually it's a it's it's both right it's both a rock pond but it's also a water pond it's a rock water pond yeah so this way uh, we can create the thermal mass we need by adjusting the water level in this pond we can adjust the humidity we also can adjust the capacity right capacity for uh, heat storage yeah so that's the, the logic behind yeah and that's it um, then oh uh, there's another thing we didn't draw but uh, it should draw uh, I mean for the um, for for the gutter you know uh, we need to draw uh, something you know it's using black cloth right the pond liner right pond liner so basically pond liner you know hang onto this edge hang onto this edge you know and then you know uh, other edges to and uh, to make it even lower right in this drawing we the the the, the pond liner is really the surface slightly tilted surface 
but uh, in real situation probably we're going to use a, a pawn liners uh, so we need a lot of pawn liners a pawn liners from the gutter and then cause the gutter to uh, flow I mean the water to flow to toward the uh, one position uh, that's uh, mainly the where is the soap reservoir is located so uh, you see here's the soap reservoir um, so we're gonna uh, use a pond liner to form uh, a, a, a gutter and, and then make the gutters uh, lowest point to be here so the drain will be here so just one hole to drain back to the soap reservoir and uh, and all the other areas that having liquid they will you know flow by gravity toward this lowest point uh, and then just drain back to the soap tank okay so that's it um, this is it uh, hope you understand um, so this is the pond in pond actually two pond soap reservoir and the fish pond right they are both uh, you know there are two separate water bodies but uh, they are in a greater body uh, which has massive amount of water uh, you know that's the thermal mass we need to contain the solar thermal energy yeah we capture it through the uh, double layer cavity through the foam uh, bubble foam right through water film yeah depending what situation right what when we use uh, we spray water when we fill with uh, bubble uh, soap bubbles you know when we do we're doing nothing right um, we simply use the air to insulate and uh, yeah so that's it so as you can see this is a combination of many things in one small humble pot yeah so hope you like it um, if you have any questions please do ask we're going to post in um, YouTube, um, Facebook, uh, you know, all the channels we can get. We also, we, we, we also set up um, GoFundMe uh, 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 project and so that you, if you have that leading, if you want to support us financially, right, uh, because this, anything like this uh, is basically cost money, right, to burn. You know, you need to burn money <laughs> to uh, to do it, right? Everybody knows. So, um, so if you want to support me, uh, support us, this project, you know, whatever way, you know, you are certainly welcome. And uh, if you live around this area, by the way, this is located on the east side of Calgary, uh, on a farm called the Greenview uh, Aqua Farm, um, and. Uh, this place, uh, you know, this is called the Rocky View uh, County. Uh, so, um, you know, not far from Calgary. Just, uh, you know, you take uh, the McKnight, uh, McKnight, uh, the road, you know, just drive, you know, toward the east all the way. You know, w after you leave the city, you know, the bound city boundary, you just, uh, I think it takes only 10 minutes. Or less than 10 minutes and then you see three large building on your left hand side you know with uh, blue roof uh, and then that's the farm okay and then you can come uh, right now there's organic vegetable there's also a large the one of the largest uh, indoor fish farm and you can buy fish uh, with a uh, low price you know you don't, uh, you know, you don't have to pay the retail price, but uh, you only pay the uh, the wholesale price. Uh, so you can get live fish and uh, enjoy it. Uh, okay. So, but once we finish our project, we're gonna have um, both fish and vegetable inside this greenhouse, and uh, and which is um, uh, uh, better, right? I mean, just easier, right? Uh, because easy to contain, to maintain the humidity, the lighting, you know, the concentration of oxygen and, and uh, carbon dioxide, right? And the temperature. The most important thing, you control the temperature, you prepare a, a good environment, you know, for everything to grow and grow abundantly. 
Yeah. So much for today's video. Um, we're gonna keep uh, producing video like this. This is just a still a design video, but uh, tomorrow we're gonna uh, have field video. You know, when we start digging. So uh, make sure you come. Um, the local people you come help and uh, and then when you help that then you actually learn right that's the best way to learn um, yeah the best way to learn to uh, see uh, what others are doing and then even follow what others are doing yeah okay so much for today uh, we'll see you next time